2004 came to a dramatic end in Tamil Nadu, India. The tsunami had struck, destroying lives, livelihoods and communities. Hands reached out from around the world, providing much needed relief to the disaster affected people and areas. Coastal communities slowly started to pick up the pieces to rebuild their lives, aided by scores of organizations. In early 2005, the European Commission called for proposals for support to the affected communities, to rebuild their livelihoods and prepare for future natural disasters. Three NGOs, Humana People to People India, EcoVenture and Practica Foundation formed a partnership Utilizing their unique blend of knowledge and experience, they outlined a feasible project named Pasamai Tatam, which was ultimately selected for implementation and kicked into action in November 2006. The objective of the two-year project was to mobilize and assist 60 fishing and agricultural coastal villages to recover from the devastation in an ecological and sustainable way. The villages are situated in four coastal districts of Tamil Nadu in the southeast of India. Kudalore, Villapuram, Kanchipuram, in I come as a project uh, leader from HVPI and uh, we have Pushpa Madam as an agriculture expert from uh, EcoVenture and then Alice as a uh, project advisor from Practica Foundation. Then uh, HVPI we have two technical expert, technical technicians for water and environment and uh, the project Green Postsunami Action consists of six, uh, have six community organizers. Each community organizer have five, four to five animators. All together we have 30 animators which are working in the villages. These uh, uh, animators, they are responsible for two villages. Th then uh, we have formed Watson committees in each villages. Watson committee also consists of the PRI member, women SG group, and the Anganwadi center uh, uh, women, and a possible is a teacher. So it's like also a group of people who are, you know, very good into the community, who wants to do something for the community. Methodology and strategies. The project selected and surveyed 60 villages. Then conducted training programs for the animators and COs. followed by the development of a PRA which has been used as a base of the project, who work with the existing SHGs. The project has been working closely with the PRIs, school teachers and school children for different activities. Selections of beneficiaries have been made in collaboration with Watson committee members, particularly prioritizing women, Dalits, poor and marginal farmers. <laughs> 